The Terminator is a 1984 American science fiction film directed by James Cameron. It stars Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator, a cyborg assassin in sent back century, in time from 2029 to 1984 to, to no kill Sarah other. Connor, which is starred by Linda Hamilton, whose son will one day become a savior against machines in a post-ecliptic future. Michael Bean plays Kylie Reese, a soldier from the future sent back in time to protect Connor. The screenplay no is credited to Cameron and producer no Gown and Hurt, while no co-writer William Wish Jr. received no a credit for an additional dialogue. Executive producer John Jerry and Derek Gibson's of Handel Film Corporation were instrumental in the film's financing and production. Their perimeter? This weapon will be called Their Terminator topped the, the United Terminator. States box office for two weeks and helped launch Cameron's film career and solidified Schwarzenegger's. It received critical acclaim with many praising its pacing, action scenes, and Schwarzenegger performance. Its success led to a franchise consisting of four sequels, which is Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Terminator 3, The Rise of the Machine Zone, The Terminator Salvation, and the last one is Terminator Guinness. The television series, comic books, novels, and video games. In 2008, the Terminator was selected by the Library of Congress for preservation in the National Film Registry as culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. This film is directed by the James Cameron and produced by Dale and Hood. This is written by James Cameron and Dale and Hood, the combination of these two, which is starred by Arnold Schwarzenegger, Michael Bay, Linda Hamilton, and Paul Winfield. The music used in the film is by Brad Fiddle, cinematography was directed by Adam Greenberg and edited by Mark Copeland. Production companies of Campbell, Pacific Western, Production and Cinema 54. This film distributed by Orion Pictures and the release date was in 26 October 1994. The running time for this film is 107 minutes and the country produced is United States and United Kingdom. Major language use is English and the budget for this film is $6.4 million. And it reached the box office of $78.3 million. The plot of the story starts in 1984 in the Los Angeles, where a cyber assassin known as a Terminator arrives from 2029 in sells clothes and guns. Shortly afterward, Kyle Reese, a human soldier from 2029, arrives. He sells clothing and weapons and evades the police. The Terminator begins systematically killing women named Sarah Connor, who addresses its finds in the telephone directory. It tried to last Sarah Connor to a nightclub, but Kyle rescues her. The pair sell a car and escape the Terminator to see them in a police car. As they hide in a parking lot, Kyle is being suicide an artificial intelligence defense network known as Skynet will become self-aware in the near future and initiate a nuclear hole cut. Sarah's sister son, John, will really the survivors and lead a resistance movement against Skynet and its army of machines. With the resistance of the Bridge of Victory, Skynet sent a Terminator back in time to kill Sarah before John is born to prevent the formation of the resistance. The Terminator, a cyberdyne system model 101, is an efficient killing machine with a powerful metal skeleton and external layer of living tissue that makes this a pure human. Carl and Sarah are apprehended by police after another encounter with the Terminator. Criminal psychologist Dr. Silverman concludes that Carl is pregnant and delusional. The Terminator repairs its body and attacks the police station, killing 17 police officers and it's a time to lock it Sarah. Carl and Sarah escape through another car and to refuge in a model where they assemble pipe bombs and plan the next move. Carl admits that he has been in love with Sarah since John gave him a photograph of her and they have sex. Well, I believe this is kind of a species, especially for those kids and under the age. But moving to the next plot, which the Terminator kills Sarah's mother and impersonates her when Sarah, unaware of the Terminator's ability to mind my voice, attempts to contact her via telephone. When they realize it has recorded them, they escape in a pickup truck while it chases them on a motorcycle. In the instant chase, Kyle is wounded by gunfire while throwing pipe bombs at the Terminator. Enraged, Sarah knocks the Terminator off its motorcycle but loses control of the truck, which slips over. The Terminator hijacks a tank truck and attempts to ram down Sarah, but Carl slides a pipe bomb onto the tankers as a house pipe, causing an explosion that burns the flash of the Terminators and the skeleton. 
As Knight expresses them into a factory where Carl Edivan's machinery to confuse the Terminator. He jammed his final pipe bomb into the Minus Abnormal, blowing apart, injuring Sarah and killing himself. The Terminator is Carl's Edivan. The Terminator throws red device and grabs Sarah. She breaks free and lures it into a hydraulic press, crushing it. Months later, a pregnant Sarah is traveling through Mexico recording audio tape to press on the her unknown son, John. She debates whether to tell John that Carl is his father. At a gas station, a boy takes an instant photograph of her and she buys it. The same photograph that John will give to Carl. This is a very interesting, especially for those who are interested in this kind of genre, which is science fiction. <clears throat> Three productions of this movie, Federal of the Calories, or wanted a star whose property was rising in the United States, but who also would have foreign appeal. Orion, who find you Mike Medobo had met Arnold Schwarzenegger and sent his agent the script for the Terminator. Cameron was curious about casting Schwarzenegger as Reese as he felt he would need someone even bigger to play the Terminator. Sylvester Stallone and Mel Gibson were offered the Terminator role, but both turned it down. The series suggests O.J. Simpson for the role, but Cameron did not feel that Simpson would be believable as a killer. Cameron finally agreed to meet with Schwarzenegger about the film and devised a plan to avoid killing him. He would pick a fight with him and return to Hamble and find him unfit for the role. Upon meeting him, however, Cameron was entertained by Schwarzenegger who would talk about how the villain should be played. Cameron begins kitchen, his face and not bad and hard, Schwarzenegger to stop talking and remain still. After the meeting, Cameron returned to Delhi saying Schwarzenegger would not play race but that he would make a hell of a Terminator. <laughs> well, this is what the James Cameron on casting Schwarzenegger. She said that casting Arnold Schwarzenegger as our Terminator on the other hand should not have worked. The guy is supposed to be an, infl an infiltration unit and there's no way you want to spot a Terminator in a car instantly if they all look like Arnold. It made no sense what's over, but the beauty of movies is that they don't have to be logical, they just have to be plausibility. If there's a visceral cinematic thing happening that the audience can they don't care if it goes against what likely. As for me, the cast of this film are very good enough to be chosen to be one of the cast in this film, which is the first one would be Arnold Schwarzenegger as a T-800 Model 101, a cybernetic android disguise as a human being sent back in time to assassinate Sarah Connor. Michael Bean as a colorist, a human resistant fighter sent back in time to protect Sarah. Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor, the community star that is soon to be the mother of the future resistant leader John Connor. Colin Fred as an extractor, a police lieutenant who questions Sarah. Lance Hutchinson as help you college a police surgeon who questions Sarah. Next, Ulmon as Dr. Peter Solomon of criminal psychology. Besmoda as Ginger Ventura, which is a Sarah's roommate. And Rick Rosovich as Matt Buchanan is Ginger's boyfriend. Additional actors, additional actors include Sean Strips as Nancy, Sarah's co-worker at the dinner. Dick Miller as the gun shop clerk. Professional bodybuilder Franco Tuamba as a Terminator in 2029, Luke Paxton and Brian Thompson as Spawn who are confronted and killed by the Terminator. And the last but not least, Mara Molina as one of the other women with the name Sarkana who was shot by the Terminator. Next, moving to the next section with the film. Filming for the Terminator was set to begin in early 1983 in Toronto but was halted when producer Dino the Laurentius applied an option in Swiss Negro contract that would make him unavailable for 9 months while he was filming Bonan the Destroyer. During the waiting period, Cameron was contracted to write the script for Rambo, which is the first blood part to refine the Terminator script and met with the producer David Geller and Water Trill to discuss a sequel to Alien, which became Aliens, released in 1986. There was limited interference for Orion Pictures. The suggestions Orion put forward included the addition of Kenny and Rob for this, which Cameron refused, and to turn on the left in case between Sarah and this, which Cameron accepted. To create the camera, it is low in the Cameron Hart's sketches back and forth, only deciding on design really identical to Cameron's original drawing in Rome. Winston had a team of seven artists work for six months to create a Terminator puppet. He was first molded in three, then plastic room for the steel room. This episode will then send it painting and then complete it. Both stunts stopped the reproduction of smudging face and several causes out of his own face and plaster. 
with this, the sequence is set in the present 2029 and stop motion scenes were developed by Fantasico and special effects company headed by James Warren Jr. The stop motion model is serious and several scenes in the film involve the tremendous character flow. Cameron wanted to convince the audience that the model of the structure was capable of doing what they saw Schwarzenegger doing. To allow this, the scene was filmed of Schwarzenegger injured and pimping way. This made it easier for the model to imitate Schwarzenegger. Overall, it's a very nice movie to watch and it's very worth While the rating given by the one MDB is very high, I would recommend to all of you, especially the youngsters, to watch this film. That's all for today.